You know, legendary is really a word that's thrown around way too much these days. Is your buddy's snarky comment that he made on Reddit really legend? Probably not. But the Filson original briefcase might be the closest thing to a legend that a briefcase can be. Being introduced in 1994, it's remained basically unchanged for the last 27 years. And it's really a testament to just getting it right the first time. Filson really did. Now, since this briefcase has been around for so long, that means there's a ton of secondhand options. And that just happens to be what I got. Because number one, you can buy these things brand new for the price of, I think, $325, or you can scour eBay, Grailed, or any of the other places where you buy secondhand goods and get them for a steal. As a matter of fact, this one that I have here, I got for $140, less than half. And it's one of the cooler, older models with the Talon zippers and built-in patina. I didn't have to do anything. But let's take a closer look at what makes this briefcase so legendary. The first thing is that crazy, durable, 22-ounce rugged twill. Along with Filson's Mackinac wool, this is one of the materials that they just got right. It's one of the coolest and toughest textiles in the world that's still usable. Good luck breaking it in before 2025 though. Now the briefcase itself measures 16 inches wide by 12 and a half inches high and four inches deep. So it is on the larger side. It features four stow pockets, two interior dividers, one interior slotted pocket, two interior utility pockets, and one interior patch pocket. It has an awesome, removable, 46-inch long, American-sourced bridal leather shoulder strap with its own pad, along with handles of the same kind of leather. Now, Filson's leather, it's really great. It's dense, it's heavy, it's a perfect match to the rugged twill, but honestly, it is a bit too much for some of their lighter textiles. All of the hardware is solid brass, and while the new models do come with Filson branded, I think YKK zippers, this older model has wonderfully smooth talon zippers with leather pulls. The overall design is incredibly simple. A top zipper opening with a snap secured storm flap, exterior full length pockets on both sides, and internal organization that completely ignores technology. Looking for a special iPhone pocket? you're not gonna find it here. This is a briefcase that reached perfection upon its release, which is probably why they called it the original briefcase. In use, it's quite nice. And I especially like that you have several options of security. So you can leave the top open and unzipped and basically use it like a tote if you want to, or zip it closed, snap the storm flap, close up the bridal leather keeper, and you have three layers of protection before anybody can get into your bag. There is one issue though, and that's the fact that those heavy duty tangs of the zipper will scratch the heck out of your laptop. It's not that big of a deal if you use a laptop sleeve, but it'll probably pinstripe your MacBook Pro long before you wanted it to be, so just be careful. But there is something deeper at play here, and I'm not smart enough to articulate it, but I am foolish enough to try. And that's the fact that the Filson original briefcase, it achieves what so many other brands only attempt to do, but usually fall short of, and that span the worlds of basically any profession. So if you're a lawyer, you can probably carry this, especially in the black coloration. If you're a construction executive, no problem. If you're a student, it looks just as home on the campus. Or if you just want something for EDC that will basically last you your entire life and probably your children's as well, well, it fits that bill too. And very, very few other bags do this. Most of the time, they either skew a little bit too formal or they're a little bit too rugged and want to be Indiana Jones. This walks the line perfectly. And that's the reason that this is such a legendary bag. But if patina is your thing, you had better be prepared for the long haul. Even in the tan coloration, this thing takes a long time to begin showing its wear. Even my second hand model here probably has lived an entire lifetime of carry before it got little more than some dirt marks. I can't really imagine a scenario where this briefcase would fail on you. There's a good reason why it's still the yardstick that many use to measure others by. But of course, at $325, this bag is not cheap. And even in the secondhand market, usually they'll hover somewhere around $200. So if you're gonna spend north of three bills for a bag, it really pays to look at some competitive options. At $325, we have the Bradley Mountain Courier Briefcase. It uses 18 ounce waxed duck canvas, 10 ounce harness leather, and other leather accents throughout. It's made in California and has a very similar look and layout to the Filson, albeit just different. At $345, you can get the Satchel and Page Aviator Brief. 
This is made out of 20 ounce waxed canvas, uses Japanese YKK Excella zippers, has a suede lining, solid copper rivets, and brass hardware with vegetable tanned leather trim. And you know what, they're also coming out with a slimmer version very soon, so if you wanna hold off and get something even less conspicuous, just wait a little while. And finally, just to throw a wrench in the works here, there's the Ruiter Tassin Traveler Cabin Bag at $499. This is made from olive green nubuck and is also trimmed out with veg tanned leather and is fully lined in canvas. Now, this is just a different option for you and one that is probably a little bit less expected. Now, any of those models would make a great alternative for sure, but there's one thing and that's all of the bags that I've tried throughout the years, I've come back to this one. And not that I don't love those other bags, and leather, of course, is like my favorite material in the whole world, but there's just something about the Filson original briefcase. It's the one that can go anywhere. You know, I mean, if I bring a leather satchel with me uh, to uh, picnic with my family, it may look a little strange. This, however, it doesn't. Just something about it blends in so nicely, yet people will still say, hey, cool bag, especially when it's broken in a little bit. So I really think that Filson nailed this one, along with certain other things like their Mackinac wool like we've discussed in the past. When they get it right, they really get it right, and they absolutely did with this briefcase. But I know many of you have this, it's so popular, and I really wanna hear your stories about this particular model. So please let me know in the comment section below. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I'll catch you next time.